hello guys welcome back to my channel so today I'll be doing spiral here so I'm putting the hair halfway half left half right side so I'll be doing a small twist here So after parting like that, I have to hold the remaining hair. And then this one here, I'll have to do a simple twist, just the normal way. I'll be fixing direct from the scalp that way. So uh, I forgot to show you the braid I'm using, so I'll be showing it to you in a few, although you can use any braid, yeah, as far as it's straight, you can just use any braid or any hair extension that is straight, okay. So, this is the bread I'm using, Sabuja Long, from Darling Company, that is in Kenya. Okay, so I have to part this hair here, and then after parting, I'll start by doing the twisting on the, the spirals, okay? So part first this uh, small strand here, and then you have to part into two parts. So you start by a small strand of hair. And then you'll be going as you add okay so i have to lay the braid between the two parted hair and then i bring this one together to be one and then i'll be folding it that way so i have to fold just a little bit so that i, I can add the next strand so I I'll be putting the hair in this manner and then I have to wrap it that way or you can say fold it or lock it, yeah. And then you add another strand of braid as you lock it. So you add another, st another part of hair, you part by your, your fingers. If you want you can part with a comb yeah so i have to add another strand of braid so that way and then i have to put a hair strand that way and then i have to bring it at the middle or at the center and then i have to lock it again so this method is not uh, that hard yeah and it's not that simple <laughs> yeah so and the process is still the same it will depend how you want it to be because um if you, let me say if you start with the one strand until the end then it won't look nice so it's good when you go by adding strands of braid like that like that as you continue yeah so that's how it is so let's continue doing it guys
So here at the end, I have to add a little bigger strand of braid and that's how I do it. And then I'll be twisting till the end. So remember when you're doing the twisting, you have to make the twist to be tight. I mean so firm that it won't disappoint you. Yeah, when you want to make a style on or when they stay for, a, let me say like a week, they will still be looking beautiful. Okay, so try to do a neat finishing. All right. Okay, so I'll be showing you another sample. And then I know by that you'll be, you'll be okay and you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's part the hair first. So I have to part the hair again, this way. And then I part again into another part. So I will start again with a small strand of braid, that way. And then I'll be adding the other one. So that's how I start. You can be wondering why am I starting like that, parting the hair into two parts before I add the braid. I'm doing that because uh, sometimes when you start with a, you know this, uh, this braid is a little bit silky or let me say soft, yeah. So it helps that um, it won't um, run or it won't slide from the hair. It holds its firm. Yeah, that's why I'm doing, or that's why I'm starting in that manner, all right? So guys, that's how it is. You just have to add the braid as you go you might even do it um, a little bit um thicker yeah or um, let me say big yeah by adding the braid you add a, a bigger strand of braid yeah the line will come out the way you want you can even do them to be more thinner than the one i'm doing but now you have to add a, a thinner strand of braid yeah, so that you can come out thinner, okay? And I hope that you are getting something, guys. So let's continue watching to understand more, okay?
so this is how it looks you can leave them hanging or you can decide and style them so we are going to do just a simple style here we just have to make it like a round bun yeah or let me say oval bun it would be better we style it in an oval way so that it can come out good okay so watch me styling you have just to play them like that and I'll be only doing the two strands this one and the, the one I'm, I'm the one I left aside so I have to plate it that way and then I'll be using um, a needle to join them together and then it come comes out the way my client wants yum okay so that way and then this one also You can even leave them, um, let me say, you can just style them while they are straight without making this one. It's not a must. Okay. So that way. And so guys, I'll be oiling my client's cap. Yeah, to avoid the dryness. And remember my client, she's not complaining that she's feeling pain. You can even see. They look tight, but it's not that harmful on my client's scalp because I've been making this one for many, many clients. Yeah, and I did not even start tomorrow to make this one. I have many years making this hairstyle. So, guys, you can try it. I know when you start it, it's, it's uh, easier for you to pull your client, but you have to try to be gentle. Okay? If the client's scalp is very sensitive, then don't do this style. So this is how my client looks like. She's very beautiful. Yeah, I know she likes the style. That's how it looks. So guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting Joyce Arts. I really appreciate and I'm humbled for your love and your kindness and your support. Okay. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you together with your family and together with your friends. I really wish you good health and happiness always. Bye bye until next time. God bless you.